Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I want to go through the latest firmware updates for our Asus uh, routers or routers. Um, so it seems to be in the first uh, few qu a quarter of 2025 there seems to be a lot of updates that are coming through for multiple Asus routers and also it's good to see they're still supporting routers from 2019 um, and this is why I always uh, endorse Asus routers as well because they continue giving firmware updates and uh, and improvements if necessary and security patches e even when most other uh, router or router um, firmware manufacturers and things like that uh, they stop supporting after just a few years or even after three years kind of thing. There is some new EU regulation where if you are in the EU um, that they do have to state now when they sell electronic products um, any smart devices that they have to state how long you'll be getting security updates for so that's quite good it makes it a little bit clearer for everyone so you can see how long you'll be getting uh, updates and security updates for but as we said Asus seem to be really good um, at this as I said before um, so this is why I continue using my Asus uh, routers and actually endorse them as something I can recommend to people so what we do here is, uh, as you can see here, this is the web interface, but you can use the app as well. Um, it's basically the same. So on the web interface, if I just scroll down, um, we log into the router. Under advanced settings, you go to administration, and then you'll go to the firmware upgrade tab. And it brings you to the, your upgrade page here. You also see here that you'll get a notification bell flashing so that means that there's an alert so that means there's a firmware upgrade but also you might get a notification if you've got the Asus uh, router app as well uh, that will give you a notification that there's a firmware upgrade available or it's been upgraded. You can see here some notes here as well so they're always quite good they, uh, some links to the Asus download center an FAQ but also the Asus support site for your specific uh, router as well. Uh, I know I've covered this in more detail before, but we'll just go through this again as some of these updates sometimes change. So you have the auto firmware upgrade. So I advise people that if you do just want to plug in your Asus router and forget about it, um, and you don't really want to go into any of the details or customization, um, it's best to leave this on. So it automatically updates your firmware with the latest security updates as well and patches and features kind of thing. So you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to come in here manually and check and things like that or come in uh, actually do the update. It'll just do it all for you during the night time and you don't even know about it. So, uh, and for security as well, especially in today's age, um, I'd advise switching that on for most people. But if you're like me that want to know before it gets updated, uh, what the features are and what it brings and things like that then that's why the reason I've got that off but as I said for most general consumers I would leave that on and you don't have to worry about it you'll see here as well the security upgrade so this is a fairly new option before we just had the uh, firmware upgrade uh, button uh, or toggle now we have a toggle for the security upgrade you can see that's always on by default so this gives you security updates as well and scans so this is where if you've got the AI protection as well, but also it will check the signature versions. And as it says here, it gives you upgrades addressing important security features uh, or legal or regulatory uh, requirements. Uh, it will actually basically uh, auto update them for you as well. So that's important to have on uh, as we want to always keep our security updated because end of the day, this router is the gateway to the internet and it uh, basically you always want to keep your devices behind it on your home um, and all your devices uh, as secure as possible. You come down to firmware version. So here you can see your signature version. So as we said before, you can see when it was last updated and then the version number and you can click on the check button as well and if you check here it will basically go out to the internet and just check to make sure that you are but if you have this toggled on this should automatically update as well and this updates the signature as well that is for your AI protection uh, if you have that and I recommend to have that switched on um, if you have no other devices um, uh, that we're scanning and things like that but it's best to have it on it I've never really seen an impact on any router uh, especially Asus routers having this feature on and it's free as well so unlike some of the others where the other manufacturers actually charge you um, after a certain time 
after a free trial and things like just for some basic features asus and never have and i hope uh they going forward they uh they won't um but it's always good as another feature that outstands them from the other manufacturers of uh, routers as well then we come on to the check update so you can see here you can click this and this will go out to the internet to asus servers and check for the latest version so as we know that we've got the bell here flashing that means that we've got an update is available so we need to click on check you do have a little checkbox underneath if you want uh, test firmware but i'd advise probably not leaving that on unless this is your second uh, router that you just want to test these firmwares on because if you're like me and this is your main router and how you have all your devices going through it sometimes you don't want the buggy uh, beta uh, firmware things uh, actually on your main router and things like that because it can cause issues uh, so i advise that to leave that off uh, unless you've like i said you've got as a secondary router and you can swap it over uh, we've got the ai mesh router as well so you can see this is the model of my uh, router and then you've got the current firmware version as well and if you have any issues with the automatic update um, you can always download the file as we'll come on to later uh, manually and you can just click on the upload and then you can choose the file and upload it manually that way i've got other videos on how to do that so uh, please check on the uh, on my um, playlists so if we just click on here we just uh, that will go out to the that said the asus servers to check for firmware update so this will then tell us what the new ver firmware version is and also the release notes so the release notes is something where it basically just explains what the update is going to give to you. So it could be something as simple as just some security fixes or something to help uh, with compatibility or improvements. So it's always something that's uh, really good to have, as I said. Um, and if you do have that toggle for auto firmware upgrade on, then this will automatically do. So you don't need to come in here and check uh, this button here. Um, it automatically downloads and upgrades your firmware automatically. Um, but as I'll show you in in a minute, what we'll do is when you go to the actual support pages for your specific routers, it will actually show you um, the actual details of the release notes as well. So if you do want to know what the latest firmware version has downloaded and you're just interested to see what update it was, you can go to that specific page. So you can see here it's got there your signatures is up to date, but it says on when we click there, you've got a firmware upgrade button now. Um, and you can see that the different versions here. So you can see that it's actually upgraded when you go along the numbers here, uh, if they've increased. So again, if this underline here, you can just click on this one. And as we said, this will load your release notes, as it says here, it will give you all the information of what the upgrade is actually giving you so this is all the features and bug fixes and things like that uh, that it's actually doing and this is for specifically for the BE98 um, uh, router so once you've done that what you do is then just click on the firmware upgrade so what they will do is once you've clicked that that will download the file apply it and auto uh, restart your router so be wary when you're doing this don't do this at peak time when you've got other people working from home or you've got people gaming or your children on the internet or streaming something or you're doing something important um so do this when uh, uh probably at night time or when it's quiet so you know it won't interrupt because it does restart and disconnect all your wired and uh, wireless uh devices as well so, and it will take up to 10 minutes uh to do all everything as well so just give it time and when it is doing the firmware upgrade most importantly Give it time don't rush and don't think if it's frozen or anything like that because it does take some time so don't go and switch off the router why it's actually doing anything um, or if you if you know to a prone area you've got power surges uh, or there's a bad weather or lightning things like that it's probably best not to do it because if you actually um, do a firmware upgrade and the router suddenly switches off halfway through sometimes that can cause issues uh, and actually brick or uh, damage your router and then you won't be able to use it and you'll have to go through uh, further complicated steps to get it to work again. So as we said, once you've done that and then it will restart and then you'll basically log back into your router, everything will reconnect and you'll have all the new features and fixes you've got. So as we said here, if we just go to, we've got the specific actual uh, page here. So what you'll do is you can go into the ASUS website or just do a Google search for your 
uh, router and make sure it just goes to the Asus uh, .com um, basically website so you're going to the official one um, and then you'll be able to go to the support page you can see here so as we said this is the BE98 so if we come down you've got drive uh, and tools and BIOS and firmware you click on that and then basically it will give you the latest updates you can see this is the version uh, 23rd of April 2025 and it's around uh, 69 uh, megabytes to download so it's not a small file and then you can come along here and you can actually see all the things that it's upgraded or improved or fixed as well so you can see there's multiple things that it's fixed on this particular BE98 model so it now supports the 10G uh, Hikari cross um, and then implemented a security patch for open VPN issues uh, so fixed display issues that could occur during the login process uh, fixed a potential DNS open resolver vulnerabilities that's important again to anything with vulnerabilities or hot fixes or uh, CVEs um, that means it's, it's a security update so it's very important you make sure you get these done and then it also fixing a problem with uh, affecting 5 gigahertz connections and then uh, basically you've got wireless schedule functionality, fixed an issue preventing the configuration, uh, fixed an issue with the uh, movie star IPTV. So if you have that, it will fix the malfunction in the incorrect firewall rules. It automatically sets up. Also improves your 5G Wi-Fi uh, connectivity stability. Um, so that's your 5 gigahertz frequency, basically. Improved compatibility with uh, your Internet of Thing devices when using your WPA2 and WPA3. So as we know, it's always best to use this option uh, for security if you can. And then improved with the stability of performance of the remote connections via the app and enhanced stability of the multi-link operation. So that's another one I did a video on around the Wi-Fi 7 uh, that basically you, you can link your uh, multiple uh, bands together and uh, uh, get faster speeds and things like that. So you can see it, it does produce a lot there. And then also you can, as we said before, download the file manually if you want to. Um, and then also you can go to show all and you can see all the previous versions as well on here. So if we go back to one of the uh, older routers, so I think this was released uh, probably about in 2019 now. But what's really good to see on the uh, GTA X11000, which is still probably one, I think, one of the world's first Wi-Fi 6 uh, routers, um, and it's still for sale, and it's still fantastic to be honest. And you can still see here they're still giving updates, so they fixed a uh, user interface issue with Chrome, and some client uh, binding issues with your uh, iMesh scenarios. So that's when you're connecting two routers together to give you a better connectivity. Uh, and signal across your home uh, enhanced input parameter handling uh, for stability and, and again uh, system security and enhancing the system access controls so it's all good things to security and in improving as well and fixing issues so again so for such an old router most manufacturers would have stopped uh, actually giving any updates and things like that and you can see here where they continue to give you updates as well to this day. So this is why, again, uh, why I recommend Asus routers so much is because they really do support their customers. And again, these were very expensive, like their high end ones uh, back in the day. Um, and they still are. I think still around in UK, still around £300 if you want to buy it, I think, from directly from Asus. Um, so it's not cheap, so it's good to see that they're still actually supporting and it's good, it's still a Wi-Fi 6 router. So if we go on to the RTBE96U, uh, um, as you can see this is another uh, router and you can see here where each uh, firmware sometimes has the same updates and the same kind of fixes, um, but you can see here from this example, this is a total different update, so they're giving you two security ones as well. Um, it's around the enhanced, as we said before, but also here you've got some bug fixes and enhancements as well around the options and backhaul compatibility for AI mesh and also some encryption options as well. Um, so it's really good to see. And you can see that was released in the 20th of February this year at 65 uh, megabytes per um, file size. So again, you can see here the actual model um, and then also your version number of the firmware. 
And moving on to, as another example, the RTAX88U. As we come down to here, you can see the latest version was uh, just the 22nd of April of this year, and that was at around 67 megabytes. And basically, all it's done is improve compatibility with certain uh, Internet of Things devices, so your smart plugs, your cameras, and things like that. So again, it's something that you can see the update. And again, you, as I said before, you can keep going back if you want to scroll down and see all the previous versions of the firmware all the way back to 2023 or, or however long there is where they've done the upgrades. Um, so again, as you can see, each model has different updates. And then if we go to the uh, A RTAX 3000, uh, you can see here they've fixed some of the, uh, as we said before, in Chrome, the UI uh, version. Um, also some mesh scenarios and enhancements and security as well. So it's good as we can see here that they are really uh, concentrating and making sure that all the models are supported. Uh, and you can see again, this was in March, uh, 17th of March of this year, 2025. So as I said uh, at the very end, um, what I'll quickly show you now is on their ASUS download support page. I'll put this link in the description. Uh, so if you do have a specific router that I haven't covered, you can come into the ASUS Download Center and you can search for your uh, router. So all you have to do is start typing. So you can type in here and you'll start getting your model. So in this example, we can see the GTAXE 11000. Uh, if we click on this, uh, it normally should bring up a picture of the router. But you can see here you have multiple options for the manual as well if you want. But if you just go to the driver and tools, it will take you directly to the support page where you can then have a look at the utilities, but also most importantly, you go to the BIOS and firmware and you can go down here and see where the latest update was. So for this particular one, you can see it was the 8th of November and you can see here where they done uh, updates as well. So you can always bookmark this page for your specific router because this will take you exactly um, back to this uh, page for your router where you can look up the any updates and things like that if you're just interested to see uh, what updates and what improvements or even new features you might not know about that has happened. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's just to give you an update, an overview of all the up, uh, little kind of firmware updates and security enhancements um, and basically how they're making improvements all the time within your router. So do keep an eye on it. I know it's probably not the most interesting things for you to do, but for security wise and things like that, as I said, if you want to on your Asus router, do uh, keep that toggle on um, for auto firmware upgrade. If you are a person that just wants to plug it in and forget about it and, and never look at any of the settings. Um, but if you, even if you do do that, as I said here, you can come in here, search for your router and you can always look it up and see what improvements has come in the last uh, period of time and things like that. Okay, so I hope you found this video useful and thanks again for watching and have a great day.